free tool. Okay, so uh, you can install independently. There is no dependent software is required for the WebSphere with MQ. Okay, no problem. One another question: H How much different is uh, MQ 7.0 from 7.5? Uh, very rare, uh, very small difference actually. There's a new feature okay. called AMA, Advanced Message Security, which is then implemented in MQ 7.5 version. There is one more called Channel Authentication Records. There is a, that feature also has been uh, added in the MQ 7.5. And there is one more called File Transfer. So MQ 7.0 is a limited file transfer we have, but MQ 7.5 version, there is a file transfer. Uh, the purely the file MQ will be using as a, a file transfer. You can uh, send the file more than 10 GB or 1 GB, whatever the GB specific. So you can send the any kind of uh, any kind of size of data you can transfer using the WebSphere MQ file transfer. So the, okay. these are the new features has been added in the MQ 7.5 version. Okay. okay. And Eclipse. Here, if you see that. The WebSphere MQ Eclipse is not part of the MQ. It is separate software we have to install. But MQ 7.1 version onwards, Eclipse also part of the MQ software. You need not install separately. It will get automatically get installed when you are installing the WebSphere MQ 7.1 version. But before MQ 7.1 version, we have to install the Eclipse as separately. If you want GUI, if you want graphical user interface, you should install the WebSphere Eclipse platform version 3.3. If you don't want to go for the Eclipse, I will go only the command line interface, then you need not install Eclipse version. But in 7.1 version, it's not like that. You should, by default, you will get installed the Eclipse version for the GUI. It is a, a part of the MQ version. Okay, we will install all the, uh, all the versions of MQ. 7, 7.5 and 8.0, okay? So to install the WebSphere uh, MQ 7.0, so that Windows 7 64-bit is satisfied, the prerequisite part, but Eclipse is still not installed. If you want to install the WebSphere MQ, uh, the WebSphere uh, MQ should be that uh, graphical user interface, then you have to click on the plus symbol. If you see that, just click click on the plus symbol and click on the CD ROM, it will guide you, it will uh, navigate to the where Eclipse platform version is 3.3 is existed, the software. It will go to the installer of the Eclipse. Now, it will take the directly the software, it will request you to uh, just navigate what kind of uh, language you want to use. I am using English language and it will ask you the path where you want to install the WebSphere, this Eclipse version. So it will guide you how to install the WebSphere, uh, uh, this Eclipse also, only next, next, next one, we have to select the path where you want to install, simple. So I'm just clicking on the next, it should accept the license agreement, in. click on next. So where Eclipse is getting installed, here, the C program, IBM, WebSphere M2, Eclipse, SDK 33, software development field, 3.3 version we are using, okay. So if we want to change the path of the root path, the WebSphere MQ home path, you can change actually. Yeah, by changing the, just click on the WebSphere MQ, this change path. So I'm not changing, I'm just using the default path. Just click on the next and install. Once you install the Eclipse, again click on the refresh so that it will be satisfied the prerequisite path. Then we will go for the WebSphere MQ installation. So meanwhile, uh, we will check about WebSphere MQ 8.0 version, how to install an Linux system. Okay. 
So when you are going to install the uh, MQ on Linux system, there is a prerequisites needs to be satisfied there also. So part of the prerequisites, first you should create a user called MQM and you should create group called MQM. So there is a in small letter, we have to create the user and group with the name of MQM and user should be part of the MQM group. Okay. So first you should create the users and group. Once you create users and group, so we have to create the file system. So where MQ get installed, by default MQ get installed slash opt slash MQM and Linux system. And here we require two file systems. One is the slash opt slash MQM, another one is slash var slash MQM. So slash opt slash MQM get installed the product binary files and slash var slash MQM will be used for the working directory. So where the queue manager, where the queues, where the error logs, where the uh, transaction logs, everything will get installed on slash var slash MQM. So that is called actually product working directory. The slash opt slash MQM is the product binary path, okay, where the binaries will get installed. So these are the two file systems you need to create because going forward if you did not create the file system with the specific disk quota, the future you may face in issues because in MQ level there is an FDC files, there is an errors, there is a trace files. So all will be located at slash var slash MQM, right? In future maybe FDC file will be generated more than 10 GB or more than 20 GB or 30 GB. Even sometimes if the administrator forgot when he run the, when he enable the trace file, a trace file will be generated more than 20 GB, 30 GB, 40 GB also. So to avoid this kind of issues, so we have to specify the var MQM, the file system should be the specific disk quota should be allocated. So the mount point should be created with the specific size to avoid the any file system issues. So as, as per the production environment, how they will create a file system is, they will create separate file system. Slash var MQM is minimum 22 GB, slash var MQM under that error folder will be get generated, get, get created. So for that also you should create minimum of 20 GB, slash var MQM log. So for that again they will give the 20 GB like that, they will specify the disk code, they will create the mount point and they will allocate the specific disk size to the file system. And that file system should be owning by the MQM user and MQM group. MQM user and MQM group. And after even OPT MQM also, we should specify the specific disk quota. Because of in future you may install a fixed patch, right? So maybe fixed patch will apply or fresh patch will apply. So that it will get the, the uh, product binary uh, path also will get loaded, it will increase the disk space. To avoid those kind of issues, we will specify the even slash OPT MQM also will give the some disk space minimum of 10 GB. Minimum of 10 GB. So after creating these file systems, we have to tune the kernel level. We have to tune the parameters. So those parameters we should give it to the Unix admin. So they will tune the kernel level uh, parameters tuning so based on the MQ requirement. MQ should require the tune the kernel parameters. Otherwise, definitely you will face some issues in the production environment. Because number of uh, processes, how many processes you want to open with the MQM user ID. What is the soft process, soft user and hard user limit you have to specify. And how many, uh, what is the max semaphores we are using for MQ. What is the shared memory, how much shared memory you have to use, how many queue managers you have to use, what is the message max length, uh, the shared memory level. So those are the parameters we have to tune in the MQ, uh, MQ purpose in the kernel level. So we should specify the kernel level parameters to the Unix admin. So they will set the kernel level parameters. So these are the prerequisites we have to complete in the Unix system. Okay. So now we have completed that Eclipse version 3.3 get installed. After that, just click on the refresh. Just click on the refresh. Now if you see that, it is satisfied. The prerequisite part is satisfied.
After that, come to the WebSphere MQ installation. Just click on the WebSphere MQ installation. If it is your system is under production, so in production we are using the uh, domain control level user ID for installing. So we have to configure the network configuration. If you are using any, the user should be the domain user. If it is a local user, you need not to set the this the, uh, Windows uh, the network configuration. Okay. Just click on the web speed. I'm using my local system only. It's not in uh, uh, network. So just click on the WebSphere MQ installation. Here we have to launch the IBM WebSphere MQ installer. Just click on the launch IBM install. Now, now it will guide you how to install the WebSphere MQ server. WebSphere MQ server. As I said, I told you here MQ software is available in the two, two types actually. One is MQ server and second one is the MQ client. So which one you want to install now? The MQ server or MQ client? So as I told, when you install, when you buy the WebSphere MQ server software, 